Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Alicia and I'm back with another DIY video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my ruffle anklets. I make these little anklets to go with my feather dress outfits because I make a three-piece set with the hair bow, the dress, and the anklets. Now, these anklets are used to go over like a baby or a child's socks and it just adds extra fun to an outfit you can make these in so many different colors and different styles and i'm going to show you guys exactly how i make mine so you know what i'm not going to ramble off too much let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial so i'm going to be using this white glossy looking fabric i mean i'm sorry this white glossy looking tool that i got from walmart walmart has two rolls for about two dollars and it's 25 yards on each roll this is a glossy um or a sparkly color white it's not glitter it just has like a glossy look to it and I'm going to go ahead and lay my tape measure on the table so that I can measure because I'm going to be cutting each anklet with three yards of tool. So I went ahead and laid out my tape measure on the table so I can go ahead and measure out the tool three yards. Of course, you know, one yard is 36 inches. So I'm going to roll the tool up till I get to 36 inches and I'm going to go ahead and put my finger to locate where the 36 inches is or basically where the one yard is and then i'm going to go ahead and roll out another yard so i'm going to do this two more times until i get to three yards all together so basically i did it three times all together okay then once i get gotten to the last yard i'm going to go ahead and cut so each one each anklet has three yards and three yards is good for a newborn baby all the way up to about a five-year-old anything past a five-year-old you want to use four yards of tool okay so i'm just using three yards because this is going to go with a 12 month size frozen dress that i've made and i also have a diy of how i make the frozen dress from scratch i'm going to leave the link down below so definitely go ahead and check that out after you watch this video now that i have the first three yards um rolled up i'm going to go ahead and just fold up the tool and put it by the sewing machine and i'm going to go ahead and cut three more yards of this tool okay and then of course after cutting the tool we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut our ribbon so the ribbon that i like to use for these anklets are satin ribbon and i find mine well i get mine mainly off of amazon sometimes i get them from hobby lobby but i found a really good vendor on amazon that sells them for a really good price he has them for about ten dollars for 50 yards of ribbon which is a really 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 good price okay so i'm going to put the link down below for his shop on amazon so if you guys want to get some satin ribbon you can get it from him so now that i finished cutting the other three yards for the other anklet i'm going to go ahead and fold that up and put that aside too and then we're going to go ahead and start on our ribbon now the ribbon colors that i'm using for this for these anklets in this video is going to be lilac like a very light purple it's going to be like a silvery gray and it's also going to be a powder blue like a, almost like an aqua mixed with a powder blue color i picked these three colors because of course they match the frozen dress that i have made so i'm going to go ahead and unroll the lilac um, ribbon and just like with our tool we're going to go ahead and measure it against our tape measure and i'm going to cut one yard okay so i'm going to cut 36 inches of the lilac because we want to cut since it's three different ribbon colors we want to have one yard each of each color for each anklet so i'm going to do two pieces of the lilac and that's going to be one piece for one anklet and one piece for the other so with the three colors it's going to be one yard each which would be three yards all together to go with our three yards of tool okay and then you want to cut one yard of each color okay now you guys can um choose how many many colors you want and do it however you do it but i'm just going to show you guys how i did it in this video okay so yeah so now that i cut my two pieces of lilac i went ahead and folded them and put them to the side and i'm going to go ahead and cut our blue color our blue aqua color and just like the, with the lilac i'm going to go ahead and cut two pieces of one yard of each okay so i'm going cutting one yard and i'm going to cut two pieces of one yard of the piece of aqua blue satin okay super simple super easy basically how many of a yards your anklet is is how many yards of ribbon you need to cut so if you are making a anklet that has four yards of tool you need to cut four yards of your ribbon if you use four different colors you cut one yard of four different colors if that makes sense okay i'm going to try to leave some further that um direct directions or yardage down below in the description box so you guys don't get confused but it's super simple 
how many ever yards of tool or um, anklet you're going to be cutting you have to cut the same measurements of ribbon super simple so i cut our first piece which is one yard i'm going to put that aside on top of one of the purple then i'm going to go ahead and cut another piece and put that on top of the other purple basically each of the stacks of ribbon is for each of the two anklets that we already cut okay so now after cutting the blue, I'm going to go ahead and cut our silver one yard of two pieces of one yard of each of that as well. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how we're going to start sewing our anklets together, okay? <laughs> all of our pieces cut out I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side and then we're gonna go ahead and set up our sewing machine and then we're gonna go ahead and start um, sewing our two pieces together so I grabbed one of the first two pieces okay because remember we have two so I just grabbed the first one and I'm going to completely fold it in half lengthwise okay so just go ahead and fold that in half okay basically we're just gonna make like a pop pocket or a casing for our elastic because after we finish sewing we have to run elastic through our anklet so I just went ahead and completely folded it in half all the way around I'm gonna try to put it up close so you guys can see it and then I'm gonna sew down about a less than an, an inch like I want to say 0.5 so basically if you take your tape measure and you count five of those little dashes so, uh, so that would be 0.5. So I'm going to just go ahead and sew down about 0.5 where that, where that fifth dash is. I'm going to go ahead and sew down right there. And I'm going to go sew all the way across the tool while it's folded in half. And you don't need any pins as long as you, while you're sewing, just make sure that you keep the tool folded okay you just keep on aligning it and keeping it folded to keep it folded together while you're sewing down so of course like always when you first start sewing you want to go ahead and back stitch first and then go ahead and straight stitch okay you back stitch to keep your um threads in place okay so go ahead and back stitch and then go ahead and straight stitch all the way down and as you can see while i'm sewing i'm just gonna go ahead and folding making sure that the tool stays folded okay and i'm going to show you guys after i finish sewing straight down how it looks how the casing looks that we just sewed into the tool but yeah but i'm just going to go ahead and as i'm sewing you take your time and every couple of stitches go ahead and make sure that the tool stays folded okay so i'm going to go ahead and finish and then i'm going to come back and show you guys how it looks at the end but this is pretty quick once you do it once or twice and you'll get the hang of it you can like literally you can make a bunch of these in no time it's a very quick process very easy and it adds an extra 
wow to your outfit if you're making children's outfit for your child or whether you're making it to sell this adds an extra wow wowness to the outfit it just makes it just t takes the outfit over the edge so definitely if you are considering making my feather dresses to sell definitely match it with ruffle anklets and a hair bow okay and it don't cost much to make this the two roll at walmart for 25 yards is about two dollars and about no more than about two dollars and fifty cents and then like i said each of the rolls of satin ribbon was about ten dollars and it came with a set of 50 yards so you can make several if you're only using six yards all together to make both anklets you can make several anklets with 50 yards so i'm going to go ahead and finish sewing this down and come back and show you guys and then we can go ahead and start sewing on our ribbon <laughs> Okay, so now that I finished sewing down um, the casing for our elastic, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the loose threads. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the other end, basically put it back in the machine the same way it was, but you're going to, you're not going to sew down where the casing is. You're going to go down, I want to say, about an inch under the casing, and we're going to start to sew on our ribbon. Now, you'll be able to pick it up while you watch me do it, because it's fairly simple but yeah but we want to basically sew down our ribbon at the edge or the opening part of where the tool is okay so there is our casing and we want to go over about maybe a half an inch okay because we want to put the um the, the ribbon close to where the edge of the tool is okay so I'll, I'll show you guys more descriptive after i finish i'll definitely show you guys exactly how many inches apart i sewed the ribbon from where we sewed the casing okay but you guys can probably tell by watching me sew it like the distance between where i put the casing to where i'm sewing down our satin ribbon but basically you want to put it close to the edge of the tool okay and then i'm just going to go ahead and sew down i'm going to go ahead and start with the silver first i'll probably put the blue next to it and then i'll go ahead and do the purple but fairly simple you're doing one straight stitch all the way down the same thing that we did for our casing super simple super easy guys you don't have to use the same color thread of the ribbon unless you want to but i don't do all that if i'm using light color ribbon i use light color thread like a white or like an ivory color if i'm using a darker color ribbon i use a darker color thread but i don't change out the colors for every single ribbon color you don't have to do that because once you ruffle the anklet at the end of the video you won't even really notice the thread at all to be honest with you so i'm going to go ahead and keep sewing and once i get about a half an inch down to the first color of ribbon 
or maybe about an inch, I'm going to go ahead and add the other color right on top of the end of the first color, okay? So right on top of the end of that first color, you go ahead and you add your other color on top of that. Then go ahead and keep straight stitching down. I went ahead and back stitch first to lock the stitches in place, and I went ahead and continue to straight stitch all the way down. And then we're going to do the same thing for our purple. Once we get almost all the way to the end of that blue, we're going to go ahead and put purple on top of the end of the blue and we're going to go ahead and keep on stitching till we get all the way to the end of that tool okay <laughs> Okay, so now we have gotten to the end and I'm going to go ahead and cut the thread from our sewing machine. And if you have any extra ribbon hanging off of the tool, just go ahead and cut that off. Most of the time you will have a little bit of extra. So just go ahead and just snip that right off. And I'm using my zigzag scissor, which is my favorite scissor to use for any kind of sewing project. And if you're using a straight scissor, you will need to use a light, a, a lighter and burn the end of that ribbon, okay? Because ribbon frays or it unravels easily. So with me using a zigzag scissor to cut the ends of them, it's not going to unravel. But if you're using a straight scissor, go ahead and take a lighter and just gently run it across the edge of the ribbon so you can lock the ribbon into place so it won't shred. Now we're gonna go to the top part of our casing, okay? Now you guys can see how far down I began to sew on the ribbon from where the casing is okay and here's the back of it you see very, very simple basically I put the ribbon down close to the edge of the tool okay and I want to say that I went down about so our casing is less than an inch because it's 0.5 okay and then underneath the casing that we made I went down about one inch okay so there's the 0.5 of the casing okay and then underneath the casing, underneath that, under, underneath the casing um, stitch that we did, I went down about one inch and began to sew the ribbon one inch underneath that casing. If this helps you guys, if you're confused about exactly where to sew your ribbon, okay? But it's super simple, super easy. So now I'm going to go ahead and go over to the other side of our anklet. I'm just showing you guys how it looks. And now we're going to go ahead and run our ribbon, I'm sorry, our elastic through to really make this anklet an anklet, okay? So I'm using um, a very thin elastic, and it's a soft elastic as well. The measurement of the elastic is one-fourth, okay? And this is called knit, knit elastic, okay? So it's kind of, it's softer than your regular elastic. It has like a more knit or fabric feel to it. And I love using this to make the anklets. I don't, don't remember exactly where. I had bought this from but I'm gonna try to figure it out and then I will leave the link down below in the description box so I'm gonna go ahead and measure a piece of elastic about seven and a half inches okay and this is a very universal size if you're making this anklet for a newborn all the way up to about like I said a five-year-old you want to do about seven and a half um, inches 
of elastic. If you're doing it for an, a size above a five-year-old or a size above a size five, I'm sorry, then you want to cut it about eight and a half, okay? Probably about closer to nine if you're making it for an adult. So I'm going to go ahead and take a safety pin, and that's what we're going to use to run our elastic through our casing, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just put pin the, the pin through the one part of the elastic, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to push that through one side of the casing that we made on our anklet. This is what's going to give the ruffle effect. And so, and basically, this is how you're going to put the anklet on as well by putting it on through the elastic, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start running it through. And you don't want to run it through all the way. You want to make sure that a little bit of the elastic is sticking out at the end because we're going to go ahead and put a pin right there to stop it from coming through all the way, okay? Because we're basically going to gather the elastic through the casing, if that makes sense, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take me a clothing pin and just go ahead and stick that in to that side. And then we're going to go back to where our safety pin is and we're going to go ahead and start to gather. Basically, all you're doing is you're pulling the safety pin with the elastic on it through all of the casing. It's super easy. And while you're doing this, you'll see the ruffles begin to start forming on its own okay so just go ahead and pull that elastic through all the way over to the other side of the end of your anklet okay and that's basically it basically after you do this you're done now we're going to go ahead and close off the elastic and i'll come back and show you guys how how i close off the elastic is i just go ahead and tie the two sides together into a knot and i add some heat to it so that the elastic can melt and it won't open back up but tying a knot on its own is perfect it should not open back up if you want to stitch close the ends of your elastic together you can but i find that to be very tedious sometimes because the elastic is very thin and it's very small so trying to sew stuff under a sewing machine that small sometimes can be a pain so it works for me to just go ahead and put a knot at the ends of my elastics now you can do it however it works best for you but i found it better to just go ahead and put a knot at the end of your elastic to go ahead and seal the elastic together okay so i'm just going to go ahead and finish running this through I'm sorry if my camera loses focus, guys, bear with me. So, so yes, yeah, yeah. so now that I've gotten to the end, I'm going to go ahead and pull that through just like that. So you want to uh, pull through both ends of your elastic. So our other elastic is already out because we put the pin. Then you're going to go ahead and kind of swivel around your anklet and find the other end. Now that we have two ends together, we're going to go ahead and pull out both our safety pin and, and our clothing pin. And don't let go of those ends of elastic because then it'll go back into the anklet and you have to do it all over. Okay, so just go ahead and hold on to both ends of your elastic and go ahead and take out your safety pin and take out your sewing pin. Okay, and then we're going to tie those two ends together into a very tight knot like i said if you want to run the two ends together under the sewing machine and not tie a knot of course you can do that but it is very tedious trying to run this under the sewing machine so it's best to go ahead and just uh, um, um put the two ends together and just tie them into a very tight knot super simple just go ahead and grab it run it around your finger and just go ahead and make yourself a knot super duper simple guys I'm trying to do it as close as possible so you guys can catch this but it's super super simple and put your knot and go ahead and stretch it to make sure that make sure that the night the, the, i'm sorry make sure that your knot is super duper tight okay that it's not going to undo and once you get it tight you'll be fine it's not going to open up it should not open up if it does then that's weird but <laughs> i've never had an anklet open up or a customer never said the anklet came apart that, that that once you put that tight knot in there it ain't going nowhere okay i went ahead and cut down a little bit on the end of the um of the knot tail then i'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of heat to that because the heat the elastic of course is made with some plastic fibers to make it stretchy of course we know that so once you put heat on it it'll kind of melt the two ends of that knot tail together okay don't want to light it on fire if you do by accident it's okay hurry up and get the fire out okay but just go ahead and run some fire across and just keep on dabbing it until you feel like it's secure like until you feel like the two knot tails are not going to come apart okay there we go just like that 
So I got it sealed. I got it heat sealed really, really good. And that's not going to come apart. That's not going to open up. And just if you have any burnt little pieces, just go ahead and, and um, cut that off. But this is basically how it looks. Super simple. It's sealed. It ain't coming open, okay? So we ain't got to worry about that. And then after doing that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hide our knot within the tool of our casing, okay? So just go ahead and stretch around your anklet and go ahead and pull the tool casing over that knot, okay? And once you gather up the um, ruffles and, you know, kind of, because you do need to go ahead and make sure that the ruffles are even throughout the entire anklet so you're going to go ahead and kind of play with it and even out those ruckles just kind of stretch it on all the way around till you get back to the other side okay and then also you're going to also hide your closure so that part that was sticking up right there by the purple and the silver with the zigzag that's our closure but once you go ahead and maneuver your ruffles you'll go ahead and be able to hide that closure underneath okay so you don't have to do any more sewing at this point just go ahead and play with your ruffles maneuver them get them to look really really good stretch them make them evenly around the entire anklet okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and play with it and that's basically it guys that's it we just made our anklet now the way i sell my anklets with the outfit i don't sell it with the socks because I feel like the customers can choose whatever color socks they want to choose the child to wear with the anklet. So some people attach the ruffles to the socks. I don't make them like that. I just do the anklets because it's easier this way and then they can match their own pair of socks with the anklets. But this is how it looks underneath the bottom of it as well. Very cute. I'm just going to go ahead and play with this some more. Very cute, stretchy, comfortable enough where it's not going to be tight around the child's leg. Okay, that's why you want to go ahead and use um, cut the elastic at seven and a half. But yeah, this is how it came out. So if you guys love this video, if you enjoyed it, if you learned, you know, it, um, thank, give definitely give me a thumbs up and shoot me a comment. If you have any further questions, definitely I'll leave my email so you can reach out to me. But this is how they came out. Super simple, super easy to make and very, very cute. And they go perfect with that frozen dress that I made. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end and like always, God bless. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.